one small local apparel company in the Bronx says it is ready to manufacture their own mask. Joining us now is the owner of Spoiled Rotten USA, Eric Baroff, tells us more on what his company is doing to help fill the shortage right here in the state. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for what you're doing. We appreciate being here. Good morning. Thank you. All right. So first off, let's talk about these masks that you are starting to manufacture. Are they in 95 masks? They are not. They are made of a three-ply cotton jersey fabric. Okay, so what is the intention of these masks? Where will they go? The, the intention of these masks are to go to possibly uh, delivery workers, uh, manufacturing facilities, uh, and people out there that it protects them against basically touching their face, keeping their fingers away from their face, uh, any splatter coming out of mouths. Uh, they will not protect, you know, against a virus, but, you know, uh, there's been a lot of research out there that if there is nothing else, available, uh, we're trying to do our part by making these fabric masks in our local facility. Yeah, I heard a medical professional earlier today say, you know, even at the beginning, people said don't wear the mask, they don't help, but they're walking that back a little bit, saying that as long as you're protecting yourself some, it's better than nothing, and that's what you're trying to do here. So you're selling these at cost to whom? We're selling these at cost. We've had interest from interest and orders uh, from people like Meals on Wheels, uh, homes for special needs, uh, some large manufacturing companies, a couple of hotels in New York City. And we'll continue making them as the need uh, arises and we'll stay as long as uh, people want this fabric mask. It's twofold here. One, it's keeping your company in business and two, it's providing a service. Are you also donating some of your supplies as well? We are. We are donating a percentage of, of the masks that we're making, as well as we also have a lot of people reaching out to us for fabric. We've heard a lot of nurses and doctors making their own fabric masks within hospitals. I've gotten a number of calls from hospitals like Jacoby, and we are donating as much fabric as we can to these institutions. Have you had to lay off workers so far? We have. We've laid off almost 50 percent of the staff wow. we have. We're a small company, but we have laid off at least 50 percent of them. Okay. And so what are you urging right now for companies if they see the need and, and you're filling that to reach out to you or are you reaching out to them? We, we actually would like companies to reach out to us and, and we, we tell our workers and we will bring back more people as the need arises. We will continue staying open as long as there's a need for our mask and we'll do everything as a company that we can to help in this, in this ep epidemic right now. Yeah, a lot of people trying to pitch in where they can, but also trying to make a business play here and stay alive, right, during these difficult times. We thank you for what you're doing and best of luck to you.